What are the steps of an audit engagement? An audit begins with pre-engagement activities. These are the steps that an auditor takes to get a new client or retain an old client. And it may include things such as uh, sending the client an engagement letter or simply talking to the client to better understand their business. The planning phase is next once an auditor accepts a client. During this phase, the auditor can gather an understanding of their client's business, assess their staffing needs and estimated amount of time to complete the audit, and ultimately could just create that audit plan. Uh, it's important to have that plan to, to be able to know how to correctly execute the audit. Next, assessing risk. This is an important step because the assessment of risk is going to impact the audit test work. The auditor is going to examine the client's internal controls and decide whether or not those controls can be relied upon. This potentially can modify the test work that will be performed. So in other words, modify the nature, timing, and extent of the test work over the financial statements. During this risk assessment phase, the auditor will also establish the materiality level for the audit. So in other words, the level of potential misstatement or the level of transaction that would significantly alter the financial statements or, or be important to the overall financial statements. Substantive procedures are next. This is the test work of the audit. So this is going to be things like inspecting documents, looking at tangible assets, performing analytical procedures, and inquiry. Finally, issuing the auditor's report. That's the final step of an audit engagement. This is where the auditor formally issues their opinion over the financial statements.